As a car company, Ford uh, is uh, committed to being providing transportation solutions and enabling people to be mobile. So we're viewing ourselves as both a, a car and a truck company, but also a technology and a mobility company. As, as, you, as we're understanding the challenges of being mobile in today's society, with the emergence and growth of mega cities and the increased density of people who are living in densely populated urban environments, we recognize that it's harder and harder for people to be mobile and to get where they need to go with the least amount of pain. And we want to make it easy. And so we could continue to sell them vehicles, but in certain environments that might, be, might not be the mode that they want to use to be mobile. And so we see this white space emerging where solutions need to exist. And we want to be a leader in providing those solutions. That's why we created the Ford Smart Mobility Plan, which is our plan to drive, to use innovation to, to bring together uh, mobility solutions, connectivity, eventually autonomous vehicles, enabled by big data to enable our customers to have the better experiences that they want and deserve. Uh, I just realized that I'm in this target because I, I have a car. I yes. walk or take the metro from where I need to go in Bucharest. But I also, I'm very strongly dependent on my car on the weekends. Yes. And yes. that's the, that's that's a, the catch. That, that's a great example. The fact that you own a car and you still use public transportation during the week when you go to work, but on the weekends, you're very dependent on your personal car. And that's important to you. And so the mo well, that's one mode that we see people operating in in the future where when they're living and working in a, they're living in maybe the suburbs area, and they, but they work in the middle of a, of a densely populated environment, if they have a Ford supported service that's underpinned by a data infrastructure with, with the analytics associated with that, we can use that information and the, the, the choices you make regarding your use of public transportation, or maybe even the choices you use for a car sharing service to improve the experience you're gonna have on the weekend with your car. So, so that's an example of how it all would tie together to, to make your experience a better one for the full experience of your use of vehicles uh, in the end uh, as a system. Um. How much does it cost? Let's start with the Focus Electric. Can you say me the price of Focus Electric? So, we, the, you know, the Focus Electric began in the U.S. and we, as we brought it to Europe, uh, we uh, we created we dropped the price to be a uh, more competitive uh, vehicle. And so, in the European market, depending on the region, it's in the you know, roughly the thirty-five thousand euro range. Without the uh, help from the government. Uh, that that's right. That's that, but that includes taxes. And but that's without the uh, incentive. Okay. And how, how about the bike? Will the bike be free when you buy the electric Focus? The, the bikes right now is part of our mobility experimentation process. But after the experiment? We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's why it's an experiment. And so in the experiments, um, you know, because the bikes are part of our learning process, we're trying to learn how people would use the bikes. And how, what what is the what is the interaction between their use of the of a of an electric vehicle or a um, uh, a uh, uh, a van and uh, the interplay between that and their use of the bike? We don't quite know yet. Okay. Um, and as we create that learning, uh, it will tell us how we would take it, uh, an electric bike to market, or whether we even do take it to market. We just don't know yet. Okay, define this experiment. What does it mean? Where, where does it take? Uh, we haven't designed yet the specifics, uh, but it will involve volunteers. Uh, likely our employees will be first, uh, and uh, they will utilize the bikes. We won't tell them how. Uh, we'll, we'll monitor and we'll ask for their permission to, you know, they'll, they'll sign waivers to, so that we can have access to the data that they use. And we'll use that learning and that data to analyze uh, how are the bikes helping them do their commute, how are they helping them uh, operate their business, um, and then we'll use that learning to make decisions about how, if and how and when and where to take them to market. 